Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome to the 10th episode of the Angmar campaign. Today we're going to assault Mount Gundabad, which at the moment is completely emptied and they have no idea what is yes. awaiting them. And now Harald can't, or this ballista can't actually reach Mount Gundabad. So we're going to wait one more turn until we attack them. But we have a very solid army and we're going to see the new Iron Crown units, which I'm looking very much forward to. It's going to be very interesting. But uh, we're going to wait one more turn over here so that we can attack immediately the next turn. And then we're just going to go straight for Borsico. We do have a lot of units here as well, which will be able to reinforce very quickly. Now we don't know what uh, these goblins might do, but we do have a pretty solid garrison in in Imladris, so we're fine. For the time being, Agendar is now, now going to start attacking these guys as well. The Dun Landings. Yeah, they are bringing up a couple of units here. But they will have no chance uh, standing against us over here. Uh, on the other hand, we're sieging out Mitchell Delving over here. I only skipped one turn since last time, just did some micromanagement, was a lot to do. These guys are supposed to go here though, and these guys will go in here. And the Witch King did defeat another army, and he is now going to start sieging at Forland. And they don't really have a lot, but they will still be quite powerful. There has also spawned a Doomstack army, which is probably because they have still a couple of settlements left but if we're really efficient we could take out under towers and Basha doom and Forland in the same turn so that we will not or that they will not stand much of a chance yes. now these guys can just come they they don't really pose a threat at the moment in the meantime I'm just trying to fill up these uh, castles because I know that there's still some elves on the way up here so we want to make sure we watch out for them. We're just going to besiege this place. If we go in with our units, we're not going to be able to do it. But once they sally out, we'll be more than capable of bringing them down. Next, I recruited a couple of more units here just to send and let them work as a garrison. But I think we are actually doing what we can this turn, so let's just go at it and let's see what we can do with the Mount Gundabad. Oh, uh, these guys are probably going to attack uh, Deep Hollow. I'm quite certain they will. Oh yeah, we hold this region once again. I suppose we could send these two units to the fort here. We can't recruit anything at the moment. Let's just get a couple of more units from here. Let's send them down to the fort. I suppose these guys could go there as well. Now let's end the turn and let's besiege Mount Gundabad. I'm really looking forward to seeing the new battle map. And the thing with Mount Gundabad is that we can recruit the snow trolls, which I really want in my army. And the snow trolls are a very good unit. They're much better than the normal cave trolls. If you actually put the cave trolls and snow trolls up in a battle, the snow trolls will pretty much slaughter them. I believe the snow trolls is actually armor piercing, just like this faction in general. So they're quite an amazing unit with so high attack stat and even armor piercing. That's just, oh, we're not making much money at the moment because we have so many more under siege, wow. Because we have so many troops gathered. Oh, this could be a nice battle, actually. That could be a very nice battle. Even though we mostly just have trash in this army. Very good. Ah, we got the North Guard now. That's so cool. Let's just send these two units uh, along with some witches to Mount Gundabad. We can actually just send this entire army. It's going to hit our income, but... In a moment, we'll have a new settlement. So now, what we're going to do is yes, do it like this. Assembly. And yes, let's rest. just cancel the alliance. Being up front, this meeting was quite useless. Alliance in tatters. 
And now there's nothing that will stop us from this. Ah, uh, just look at this giant army. They're going to get a very large garrison, but it's going to be quite exciting. We're going to see the Black Shield Warriors, the Black Shield Warband. These guys look like real elites considering their stats. And they got some Snow Orc Scouts, which is not a very bad unit in itself. Snow Orc Spears and Grublik himself, Mountain God, very powerful bodyguard. But in general, they just have a lot of Orc Defenders. So I think we're going to be able to pull this battle off quite easily. It's going to be cool to see these new units in action. So let's dive in, boys and girls. The Gates of Gundabad is falling. And this is indeed Mount Gundabad. Just look at this beautiful fortress. Although it looks more just like the outside path of this the outer parts of this mountain. Now we're going to rush in and I want to see as much infantry action in this battle. Because using our wargs, yeah, it is, of course, it will work to some degree. But even though it looks like a field battle, it will, they will still not do very well because it's inside a city. So i rather use these new units we have here, right here. I would definitely want to use up some of our trash as well. Let's just send in our pikes first and let them soak up some damage. We're going to see the halberds in action as well. I suppose we could send one of these guys to each side. And it's going to be very interesting seeing them in action. Now we're going to send a flanking unit to both sides as well. And let's send the ballista in as well. Wouldn't hurt getting some extra hits. Harald will also go here. The wargs, I suppose, these are missile of course. Now let's bring these guys all together. They can probably be used to some degree, but they're not going to be our main focus. Let's just place them here for now. The These units are going to go now. here as well. And let's just speed it up. And we're going to take a look at both their units and our units when we get into action. And just look at us. We're storming through the gates of Gundabad. With our new elites. The Iron Crown Warriors. The Iron Crown Halberds. You can see their awesome looking halberds. Looking very Angmarish styled. Angmar styled. And we have the Iron Crown Longbowmen, also looking very good with the upgraded armor. Rudar Warriors, I think these guys are very underrated, going to be interesting to see them. Because they have 10 missile attack and 11 melee attack, which is just out of this world. Or their missile attack is the best part, but they will, they're pretty decent units, in my opinion. Now these archers could probably be used to some degree over here on this side. We could probably send them in over there. But the ballista is going to do some heavy work. Now these pikes we're going to rush over here so that they suck up most of the damage. Because they do have some archers and I don't want our elites to be hit by the new... By the missiles. And I couldn't care less about these two units. We'll have enough of the, these guys when we need them. Alright, you can go a bit, little bit more forth as well. Now you guys are going to hit the Snorg Scouts. You're just going to stand right here and just being pikemen. Now we're just going to engage these guys in melee, to be honest. We could actually just hit them from two sides, to be honest. They're, oh, and they're still going to hit our halberds, that's so nasty. Our ballista should start firing, but it should go like over here. And the halberds, you see, they're pretty vulnerable to missiles. But of course, the Snork Scout is a pretty nice unit. Now, let's take a look at these stats. They are effective against armor and they're skilled against mounts. They have 6 in total defense and 7 attack. That's pretty decent. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see, but they should do a pretty good work against these guys. Lie much under armor. So we're going to send them straight into those units. Let's put them over there, and you guys will go over here. They're still firing, so I have to send these guys in properly, I think. 
if I, if we put these guys in guard mode, they will still fire even though they are attacked. But if we do it like this, it should now be a whole other situation. Alright, you guys start. You guys are going here. And you guys are going to start firing because that potency will not be slowed down by it just being a fortress. Uh, I suppose you guys should stay like here for now. Just let you guys pull up properly. And let's send in the Iron Crown units as well. And the Arches. The Rudar Warriors. Oh, nice. We're going to get some Javis in before we charge in. That would probably be pretty cool. Alright, we're going to have these guys guarding over here. Rudar has skulls, let's send them in here. We're just going to completely surround the enemy. Let's bring these guys in a little bit closer. These guys are coming up closer. Let's bring the ballista and try to hit the mountain guard and the black shield warband. They are the strong units here. We're going to take a look at their stats when we come a little bit closer. The Snowhawk Scouts are going down pretty quickly. These guys are actually getting targeted, so let's just run them a little bit faster. And now we're going to start hit the Black Shield Warriors with some of our arches. And this is the Mount Gram Raiders. They are the same units as Drangu. 6 missile attack, 13 total defense, and 6 charge. And you see they have pretty much a lot better stats than their previous counterpart. These Iron Crown units are ready. Alright, now let's see a Javi. Alright, you guys need to hurry up. Let's see a Javelin hit from the Rudar Warriors. And they are Axe Throwers. Oh, that looked very dangerous. Now you guys charge into here and you guys are going to flank. Now I want this uh, unit to send Javis into another unit. Oh, just look at that. There's such a deadly unit. These are like elven elites, to be honest. They're almost at that level. Now you guys are going to hit here. And the Rudar has skulls we're going to see as well. Now you guys hit the Black Shield Warriors. You could actually go behind. We're going to try to lure them in behind. And the same with these guys. Now these guys are just standing here, idle. You guys just hit the Snow Oak Spears. Iron Crown Warriors, let's hit the Warg Morellers. Even though, yeah, you're probably going to be able to deal with them quite efficiently. Now you guys go over here, and you have to charge these guys. Harald, just hit these guys. Yeah, the Wargs are going to be cheered apart by these guys. These guys are now engaged, let's see how they perform. The Rudar Haskalt is hitting the Black Shield Warriors, which have a lot, yeah, pretty much armor. Uh, they still rely more on their defense skill. And they have a very decent attack, so it, that's a nice matchup for these guys. It's going to be interesting to see how they perform. Now, let's send in the, these guys and just completely overwhelm them. This is the perfect maneuver. They're now being. Load out, and I don't think this ballista actually needs to fire at this point. And you, who scouts, are going to hit these guys right into their backs. That's going to be the most enjoyable part so far. Oh, okay. Hit the orc defenders, you hit the black shield warband, you hit the black shield warband, and you are going to go over here and hit in the middle. Oh, it looks like the works are actually coming for these guys. We want to make sure they don't actually. And be a bit careful about that. We can probably stand back here and still be able to get them out. They are a bit shielded. Alright, you guys are going to go right here. Now let's send some Javis into the Orc Defenders. Actually, sending them into the works would be perfect. I'm going to risk it. It's going to look very cool. Now these guys just come Our a little bit closer. We have lost 19%, but we're up against a pretty strong force, of course. 
only half the enemy force remains. Black Shield Warriors are getting killed apart. These guys are struggling. Orc Defenders is not a bad unit. Alright, hit the works now. They're going to be teared apart by the Javis. Just look at them go now. I promise you. It's going to be a slaughter. Yeah, that was an absolute slaughter. Massacre. They lost like 10 or like 15 wars in that initial. Oh, they're just falling apart. They're completely falling apart. It, oh, they have a very excellent range as well, to be honest. I give, give these guys some Javis. These guys are now out of melee and they still have pretty decent stats. We're just going to use them to surround these Orc Defenders, even though they're probably best in just melee. These guys have been completely slaughtered to be honest. They, uh, they were up against the Black Shield Warriors, which is not very weird. They are a pretty good unit as well. They're quite a good matchup for these, this unit, but like they're quite equal and the Black Shield Wars is actually much, they have a little bit better defense. Yeah, and these guys, yeah, they're actually superior to these guys. So they still did pretty well, to be honest. Let's put these guys right here now and just, we're going to charge into all of these guys. Let's send in the, send in the Mount Gram Raiders. The these control. guys are also struggling very, very heavily. Why is that? I think they were just completely surrounded. But you will see that these guys aren't any powerhouse units. They aren't like super excellent. Uh, because we have lost a lot of them. On the other hand, we can recruit them so readily available. And for that reason, they are very much worth it. It's very easy to recruit them and they still perform pretty well. Alright, let's bring these guys out again. You will send in these guys with a mistake. Oh yeah, they just got stuck over there. Now these guys need to hit these. I think I'm going to save these guys. These charges won't really do as much as we would want. These guys could probably go over here now. The Rudar Warriors seems to be my favorite unit so far. They have been performing fairly well. But of course they have their Javis. Now let's get these Mount Graham Raiders, which I think is going to be one of our best units on the field. Definitely. Alright, Mount Graham Raiders. I want to see charging some spears in the back. How will that look? You don't often want to charge spears with cavalry, but this unit is supposed to be really good. We're going to let them line up properly and get a proper charge. It's much more fun then. We have lost 35% of this army. That's pretty much to be honest. And we have done what we could, we just surrounded them. But Gundabad do have very good units. Oh, that was a powerful charge! Look at this unit! That was... Yeah, they obliterated that unit. Wow. They routed them as well. No, they didn't. That was a very powerful charge indeed. Now the Huskals was also pretty much brought down. But I also think they went up against a pretty powerful unit. So it's not too surprising. Alright, let's just speed this up now. The Mountain Guard, we haven't taken a look at. This is the Bodyguard unit for... The Orcs of Gundabad, they're a very powerful unit. 26 total defense and 15 attack. Most of it comes from the armor. I just keep uh, stating where the, ar where the defense skill comes from because it's very important. Look at these pikes though. They perform much, much better than these halberds. <laughs> and that's just because the pike animation is just so overpowered in this game. But they also map the wargs and the archers, so it's not that weird to be honest. Thirty-seven percent, not too bad. Let's just speed it up at this point. Let's get these guys. And there he goes. Mount Gundabad is ours, and the civil war has started. Because this is what it is. We're going to bring down the whole mountain range. Let's see who got the most kills. Iron Crown Halberds 
Halberdiers, I mean. And Iron Crown Halberdiers. Excellent. They got a lot of kills though. So uh, no, no worry that they lost a lot of men. They paid for themselves in fashion. Now defending this settlement should be quite easy with this army. But uh, I'm just going to push straight out. I'll just reinforce it with other units. And remember our culture is the same. So we'll be able to recruit a lot of nice units from here in not too long. Including the snow trolls. Nice. That looks so nice. Let's sack this place. 3,000 a turn. That's very excellent. Harald is now the conqueror of Mount Gunnabad. And it's only 25 turns. Alright, it's... It's a lot, but it's not too bad. Dark baits, we can already recruit everything we want from this place. And it has a very nice growth. And we already get the free upkeep on these guys as well. Uh, can we actually retrain these guys? No, we can't. Now, but this is definitely an army which is made for the, uh, the field battles, to be honest. Now, I do want to get some Hillman cap here. That's going to spice up our income a little bit. They still hold... Yeah, they hold that settlement. And they hold Bursaco. Which I'm very eager to just go straight for at the moment. Now, some of these... Let's just merge some of these units. Alright. The... Pikeman is probably going to be left behind, and the Ballista as well, and these guys, I, I don't think it's much point in holding them. Let's see if that's going to... Oh, we can just wait another turn. We're going to have a nice upkeep, anyways. Now, let's just bring down this fort, let's bring more units inside, or at least bring them to... Yeah, we can just take this fort. Uh, I believe that the Orcs of the Misty Mounts are no longer our ally at this point. Yeah, they broke our alliance. So they could very much just start attacking us at this point. And this army is more than capable of bringing down this place. Let's get some pikes and these guys are going to take too long to get. But let's just get these units for next turn so that we are prepared for these guys. Now we're here, we're just sieging out. We can attack Mitchell Delving now, which I think is just going to be an active slaughter. Let's just bring in these guys to get even more advantage. Actually, 400, that's so stupid. And 20 Barrow Whites? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow! Wow, boys! This is the most cheeky way to get the trolls ever. It almost sounded like I'd have an orgasm right there. Sorry. Um, but we now got the Snow Trolls just because we completed the mission and they're now our best unit. So we're going to see the Snow Trolls and they can be sent with this excellent army which will now take up place in Mount Gundabad. Uh, they are skilled against mounts. They're not actually armor piercing like I thought but their stats is groundbreaking. Now the Witch King sieging out over here. What if we took... Go oh, they got some good units here. What if we took out Gun Mudason? They would probably join into this battle. Gildor it is. Wow. But this is going to be a hard battle to be honest. But we're going to be able to pull it off. They didn't get the last stack army, which I think they will only get after a little longer. Now we need to get this. We're probably building a bit too much around these places. I just... I'm also building a lot of stuff now. These guys need to be brought down pretty quickly. Yes. Continuing tomorrow. And that's what An actually Hunwon. Yes. Oh yeah. Your in these Let's just go straight for under towers, An and we'll start attacking from this we front as well. Them, my Lord. Yes. An order. What unit is it? Oh yeah. It's only the remaining units, actually. Yes. Let's just bring it down this turn, of course. It's only three units. Yes. Oh, that didn't work out. Well, I had to wait one more turn. 
Moving to crush the enemy. These guys, uh, they didn't attack Deep Hollow, that's nice. Let us settle matters on the field of we have recruited a lot of units here as well. Your will, my lord. Orders. Orders. We'll make camp here. Your will, my lord. Orders. Your Let's command. send some more units to the front. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the North Guard in action. Can we recruit more elites? Yeah, the money, of course, it was that problem. Now, we need to try to check if we can actually cancel some buildings. We definitely, yeah, let's just cancel this for a little while. Let's get the yeah temple right there. And we'll do the same here. And we'll queue up the army barracks. Because we'll need them on, on this front now. Because I'm pretty certain that this army will just attack us straight away. But we do have these uh, guys as well. How many? Only one. Free upkeep and two. Alright, let's send one more unit. Oh, jeez. That army still haven't been fought out. I didn't even knew that existed. Okay, I think I'm going to end the turn. I'm just going to fight this battle. But we definitely do want to see some of these these boys in action. Well, I guess I will show, so show you just these guys on the battle map. But I don't think I'm going to show you much more than that. I think we're going to be able to pull it off, even though they are much better than us. Look at our units, we have two cell swords, uh, Barrow Whites, the Witch King, which can take out hundreds of elves by himself, and a lot of cavalry. So I think we'll be able to pull it off. So I will see you in a little bit on the battle map, and, but it's not going to be that long. Alright, we're here. Let's just take a quick look at these guys, Sindar Spearmen and Sindar Axemen. These guys are elite units, 24 defense, 12 attack. Very decent, very decent. Uh, 10 defense and tw 10 armor, it's nice that they have it kind of diverted into two groups. That makes them pretty reliable. Now, where are the Sindar Axemen? 11 attack, very good. And 7 charge bonus, that's very effective. And in addition, they're effective against armor. So these guys are actually monsters. Uh, but they also rely pretty much on their armor. And that's basically what I wanted to show you, to be honest. I will fight this battle off, and I will see you right after. Alright. And there they go. The Cinder Axemen actually routed, which is quite surprising. The same happened with the uh, Spearman. But that just shows that they're not... They cannot survive forever. Now the General is still going over here. He is very powerful. The Phallus Lords are no bodyguard to be laughing about. Certainly a very powerful unit. Now I'm just going to send everything against them. Now that should bring him down pretty soon. Yes, there he goes. And that means that we have taken another port. And we will prevent even more elves from going towards Valinor now. Now they still hold one more port. I believe this was Thorland and they still hold Harland, which is kind of south for Mithlon, over the river or over the sea. So we're going to head there, over there with Hunwall. Let's execute them. Yeah, this was Thorland and Harland is like around here. Victory! Sack settlement. And now we can just see a lot more. That's beautiful. Let's get the shrine. Let's see if there's anything else we can get. No, we're fine. Let's merge units. And we're making solid money once again. Now, I don't think there's anyone which is really going to come from over here. So we're just going to leave. Can Yeah, they're still going to be happy. That's fine. Let's just send the Witch King over here and assist. I don't want to sally out, I just want to defend for now. 
These guys are probably going to head over here though. We need to take out Oskelon soon. And I think these these places could now empty because there's no threat from here anymore. Let's just empty the trash. Let some of these guys stay behind though. And you as well, you're just going to make another route. You are going to go down here. We'll take out Under Towers and Bustra Doom. And you guys are on your way. Things are looking beautiful for the realm of Angmar at this time. Getting the armor in Fenris Druinen. It's going to be interesting to see what will happen in Nimbus. Very interesting at, indeed. And Bursical is a new place which will fall. Now, if they decide to attack us, we'll be able to stream units into the lands very quickly. I definitely do want to fill up these forts with elites now, just in case. So let's just get more of these Iron Crown units. Can recruit more of these one turn. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's get some of these guys in this fort as well. And we can fill up with two more units as here as well. Your orders, as you wish. Versical, very empty. Don't really have anything at all. Now, if they hold Dane's Falls, that's oh, it's actually their capital. That's very cool. But we're going to capture it, and we're going to start heading towards Erebor. That's nice. All right, let's end the turn. Uh, these these dwarves are going down soon. And we hold all of the northern part of Eridona, which is very beautiful when these guys go down. I'll fight this battle off camera. It's not very that interesting. I will be right back after the battle. Oh, they just got another general. All right, that's going to spice things up a little bit. We might actually lose this now. I think it. All right, I will try my best and I'll see you after the battle. Actually, Jesus, that didn't work out. I thought the auto resolve would favor us in that situation. But of course, generals and cavalry against us is never a good idea. That was very stupid. Should have taken it. I just didn't want to fight that battle. Like, I promise you, when you play as so many as campaign as I'm doing, and you just keep attacking uh, smaller armies all the time, off camera, it's getting very repetitive after a while, and you just don't want to fight them. And I was a little bit lazy there, and that just that turned back. All right, wow. Cease hostilities. Well, that's probably not going to happen. We're just going to siege them out, and we're going to leave, and we're going to let. Join, let the other armies uh, join as well. Alright. Catapult in Angsul. That I have been looking forward to. Let's send it over here. And let's get the war units now. They got some black shield arches. Now they hold this, set, the, this place over here. These guys are going to stand inside. Let's bring out yes, my lord. the f large force. We're going to avoid the ballista probably. Or we could just bring it so that we can take them down in the next turn. They will actually be quite happy with us. Well. Yes, my lord. We shall hear you out. They will actually be very happy about the ceasefire. And we'll lose Sauron's protection. But in reality, the Witch King is Sauron's great hand, and he would have decided what he, the Dark Lord wanted. And in this case, it's to establish these, the Angmar Empire in the north instead of these pity 
these stupid arcs because they yes, they don't have a proper ruler and they are kind of You're you don't really right. know how they will interfere okay. with Sauron's actions in the future so he wants the witch king to take care of this business yes my lord and therefore Yes. We are going to attack them. We shall continue to but it's kind of funny though that they still want to. They 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 really want a ceasefire with us. That's just very funny. <laughs> All right, these guys are on their way. We'll, we'll soon be able to recruit more of those elites. Let's get some more ashes. Let's bring these guys as well, just to be sure we take it down this time. Now, Under Towers is going down. And didn't we have a mission there? Yeah, you will just receive some money. They actually have a general here. Alright, this... I'm going to save, and I'll, I'll just fight this off camera. Alright. There he goes down. Now this is Under Towers, and this is the place that Elendil in his time placed a plant here in one of these great towers. Let's see if we can actually take a close look at them. That's beautiful. And that planter could communicate with Anarion's uh, planter in the Dome of Stars in North Gilead, as well as I believe Isildur had one in Minas Ithil as well. So they could communicate together. Let the Phallus Lords go. Lost some men, but probably better than the Ultrasol. Because learn from my mistake. The Ultrasol is not that good way to deal with things. I just got a little bit... I just didn't want to fight that battle, you know. Beautiful depiction of Smaug. Especially this part. Just showing the fire emerging. Now we're just going to head straight for Basra Doom, or should we head for this settlement? Now that's the question. The start, I'm just going to auto solve against him though. All right, we'll have to leave probably these two units, and there we go. And you are, yeah. What should we take first? Probably Harland. Or you can go here and Drango. There's use for you once again, as there always is. Uh, let's leave some crap behind, just showing how much we don't really care about the elves at this point. Uh, these guys are probably going to attack us though. That could potentially be a painful battle. But it's a necessary battle, and we would win it, of course. An order. Let's just I will let the, let's wait a little battle. bit longer. Yes. We're going to let try to take the bridge. An order. The witch king is also coming yes. out here. We go no further today. Orders. All right, we're still at the same it turn, aren't we? Yes. Ah, we can attack Keloniak. But will we be able to pull it off with this army? Kind of doubt that. They have a lot of strong units here. But it would be a nice siege battle nonetheless. An order. Finish them. We are outnumbering them barely. However, we would still... We should still let them go down in a couple of turns. I want you guys to tell me if you want me to attack Kelonek or just to let it go. The wise thing would be to just save this army. On the other hand, attacking it would be a nice battle. So it's up to you. Leave some comments about it in the comment section. And I'll see what I can do about it. Alright, we have a lot of units here now. I'm tempted to go for the orcs. Now they have this super stack stationed right here though. Sakhala. It looks like it's only facing this direction now. Can it not deploy here anymore? 
That might be actually. Alright, we'll we'll see what will happen around this settlement. Now I don't think I need Sauron's protection, even though he could potentially just call an invasion at us. Let's end another turn. I guess you guys could vote on whether I should attack Bursicle or not. Because it's a heavy decision, or it inflicts the gameplay pretty much. But the reasoning I gave, uh, I think it's pretty... It makes sense at least. Yeah, and they're attacking. That's just... Uh, it's just to occupy them. Now get out. And we will gather our troops once again. March to exhaustion, continuing later. I really want to take the whole of Eredor. That would be so nice. Just look at the map and just see that we took it all. But you can still still see Osgelon and the other settlement on the map. The host. Oh Jesus! We're about to get smashed, boys. And they're right behind the Witch King. This is no mere no mere army. This is very powerful army. But that's going to be one hell of a battle. Splitting the four orders. Agent found. Yeah, goblins of Mora biding their time. Oh, that was a lot built. Q stalled. Yeah, I'm just building on autumn orders. Just so that I don't have to figure it out so much. Alright, we'll have to bring Drango out of here. Now this oh they just adopted that general. These guys are definitely not going to give me a break. I think we need more units over here. And we only have trash as well. Not long yet until we can recruit some units here as well. I think we actually can recruit some Barrowites here now. Yeah. But we'll have to wait. The money is quite low at the moment. He will actually smash this army. I respect you. I'm I almost tempted to uh, this guy's going here. Orders. And you yeah, you were heading out actually, weren't you? Yes. We're headed for Osgelon. I think that will be sufficient enough. Airman, you can head to Torrentals, just stay there and make some wealth for us. We have marched our limit. And now up here. Let's merge these units. And we're then going to assault them once again. You guys can just stand up for it, I think. Just head over here. I'm gonna stick you! Yes, my lord. Ugler, you will pose no threat to us. As you wish. Oh, I can't wait to see these guys in in battle, just look at these powerful units. What about the Dark Blades though? 15 turns, why is that? They're not such an excellent unit and you have to wait so long. Like, they're good, but I don't see the reasoning. Yeah, we still make 10 times a turn. I think we're actually going to end it here because we have a lot of decisions to make. I want you to give me some feedback on the Caledoniax uh, case. And the case up here. We could just seize the fire here and just head straight for the Whale of Andrin and Lothlorien and such, and Castle Doom. That's also pro uh, possible. But I also think it would be nice to just d don't really like, not really care about this thing. Because of course we are under Sauron's rule because we are. We The Witch King is his most loyal servant. So it would make sense that. He would set up properly and probably destroy these uh, orcish settlements when he knew that they had already conquered the whole of Eredor, just to make sure that none of the orcs rebelled against other orcs. That's my reasoning anyways, but yeah, it could have been otherwise of course. Now let's probably bring these guys inside here, they will probably get free upkeep, yeah. That's nice. 
So I want you to tell me what to do with Gundabad and what to do with Kelonyak. And we gotta move Hunwondo. This and this of course. Now this is going to be a very interesting battle. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think we need to reorganize this army just before we quit. Let's bring in the elites. We have the Barrowites. I'm going to let the Witch King uh, defend this battle. And the Pikes are also excellent. And we have a lot of them. That's very well. That could be such a nice battle. And these guys. And let's bring in the... This as well. Kind of forgot about these, but I guess we can just take them like this. Now this is not a very large force to be honest. We do have these wargs, which we can probably sally out with, but I believe that this army have a lot of... yeah. They do have a lot more than they show. Now, I'm just going to attack them with them just to see what they got. Yeah, two units of Sindar Cavalry. That's not going to look good. Now, you got a... Uh, what if they attack Forlorn, though? I am here only to fight thee. Not my lord. Get ready for fighting. I think we need these two units inside. And the Wargs is just going to be... They will be useful in settlement. They worked very well last time. And I think we should be able to defend now. Django is head, headed over here. These guys will probably go together. We'll need these armies before we can do much. Let's just build another Vox Tower here. And we'll decide what to do. I think we're going to wait for these reinforcements. But yeah. That's it for this episode. I, I think it was a very nice episode. A lot of shit happened. So what about this and this? I'm not going to set up a what, but just tell me your opinion about it. And it's going to be an exciting time seeing those fresh and nice units. North God, just look at their stats. So good. And they're effective against the armor. Alright, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try to play some Northern Dundine campaign um, off camera and make a faction guide for them uh, in not too long, so look forward to that. I have decided to go for them because they are a faction that a lot of people struggle with and they also like the faction very much. Yeah, But uh, like and subscribe if you liked the video and support me via Patreon if you like and I'll see you guys for the next episode.